Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back! So we have some awkward news. What happened to the giant robots? Uh, they're charging, that's not the awkward news. Oh, it's about our round table guests, eh? They didn't show up. No. Hive mind! Seriously. Not quite Hive sure mind. what we're gonna do about this, though. Uh, well, we could get the robots. No, no, we couldn't. Wait, no, I, I mean, it is our last episode. We could just go Wait, crazy no, over budget. No, no, and we could. We, we couldn't. We no. could we? I. Well, I mean, it's not like they know where we live or our real names. I, I guess. All right. I think. I think we can do this. All right. Fair enough. Geeks of the Round Table, featuring. Wah, 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 wah. Us. Hi. How's it going? So, thanks for having me on. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> doctor, doctor, <laughs> doctor, doctor. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Chris, what do you do outside of this show? Well, uh, I make this show. Oh, I, I also see. have a day job, uh -huh, which is uh -huh. really, really nice. Uh, what do you? What about yourself? Uh, well, I uh, I work in theater, and I, I uh, I'm part of a dance troupe, and I work in international finance and uh, real estate. So you're saying that you are a trained dancer. What about a trained comedian? Oh, absolutely no training whatsoever. No, uh, no. With the exception of uh, just the hilarity that it is to go to Algonquin. Uh, sorry, Algonquin. But it's uh, it's comedic in its own way, I suppose. So but, uh, mostly, no, just uh, I let my brain go and my mouth keeps talking. So this is, we kind of have characters for this show. Uh, more we or have. less, yeah. How close are you to your character? Uh, I would say on a scale from one to Europe, I would say probably uh, Cuba. No, yeah, that's 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 certainly a place. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you're a geek. I oh would, yeah. We wouldn't have brought you on the show if you weren't. Yeah. Some people uh, have religion. I have Star Trek. Yeah. What What are your big geek outs? What do you geek out about most? Uh, Star Trek: New Space Nine, probably one of my favorite things out there. Uh, Star Trek in general, and all of the sort of split off series. Uh, I'm a pretty avid Magic: The Gathering player, and I'm currently involved in two different Pathfinder: Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. A uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. There was a card in uh, Magic: The Gathering that people would tear up and throw all over their stuff. What was the name of that card? Oh. I cannot remember. Uh, and it was whatever those pieces hit, you got to keep. Oh, that was a wonderful card. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I can remember it. Do Where can people find you on the off season? Uh, well, you can find me on the Twitters, is always a possibility, at Mansfield Alex. But you can also catch me periodically at the Rainbow Room uh, in the market or at the Bourbon Room, also in the market. Uh, yeah, here and there and everywhere. Periodically New York City, when I can get the time. Right. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. Now people know a little bit more about you. Yeah, exactly. I know. So, what do you do on the show aside from writing? So, for, uh, well, I write, I host, I edit videos. Be created the show with uh, with Adam Tupper. Oh yeah, Mr. Tupper. Uh, and host. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of all over the place. Yeah, and I show up on Fridays. <laughs> Where did you get the idea for this show? I used to do a podcast. Oh, yeah? And, and what was, was that called? Uh, that was the Loudest Geeks. Oh, cool. The Loudest Geeks podcast it used to be known as Speeding Bullets. Um, but we basically did this sort of stuff, and I said, hey, we can probably get onto television for this. And we did. We did. Yep. Look at that. But I think we might be pretty close to out of time. We are pretty close to out of time, and this is our last episode. And after this, it's just syndication and after parties in the VIP champagne room at the top of the Ramada Hotel. Uh, we wanted to give a big thanks to Rogers and the production and the volunteers that have come onto this, all of the people who have been a part of it, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the Geeks of the Round Table guests, uh, psh, everyone, everyone, everyone in our credits. Uh, yep, absolutely. Also, Studio B for doing my hair every week. Thank you very much, Studio B. Well, I wanted to say thanks for watching to everyone. Mm -hmm. You can follow mm -hmm. me on Twitter, at Chris Reddy. And you can follow me on DemDare Twitters, at Mansfield Alex. I'd probably also accept you as a friend on Facebook. Yeah, it's a, it's been a blast, man. Yeah. You've been a really good co-host. Well, you've been a really good host as well. Aww. I mean, you know, this has all been a real, real lark. Make sure you keep your eyes on the YouTube and Facebook pages over the summer. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming in through there. We're not done just because the show is over for this season. But I feel... Like we're forgetting something. Yeah, me too. I mean, we've covered the fact that we've got a nationally yeah. syndicated television show called Time Hunters that's going worldwide in a couple weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. We've covered the fact that we've got an internet YouTube channel <gasps> and everything. Jack! Jack!